is Paul. Yes. There's a place called China. Yes. <laughs> In Eastern Asia. <laughs> now, uh, they have a population of approximately 1,400,000,000 1, uh, individuals. Yes. Now, 92% of our Han Chinese. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and their currency is the Yuan. <laughs> Now, um, I've been talking to the Chinese about this this idea of, uh, of getting divorced in the United States where they don't enforce the United Nations conventions as a nation. Yes. They don't enforce the humanitarian rights as a nation. Yeah. And then I just needed to know of all the individuals that have uh, gotten divorced in the, the United States. Yes. Excuse me. Yes. How yeah. many of them moved to China thinking that, well, I wouldn't have to pay child support. Now, this idea of two reference numbers. Yes. Where if I moved to China, mm -hmm, the United States would say, well, we have to enforce the Hague International Convention of Child Support Payments. Yep. Yeah. Just like we have to enforce the Hague International um, Convention of Service of Process. Now, I mentioned the service of process that you don't acknowledge forgeries of the ex officio superior court clerk. Mm -hmm. And you don't acknowledge the fraud of issuing a protection order. Mm -hmm. You don't acknowledge that my custody rights were violated when you issued a dissolution of marriage. No. Of every individual in China where their marriage was uh, the United Nations, yes. Could you call the Chinese government in Beijing? Yes. Now, in the last few days, I kind of mentioned a trillion dollar lawsuit. I'm just going to need to know how many Americans mm -hmm, actually uh, had their wages garnished when employed in China for the last 20 years. Yes. Then how many Americans got served in China when courts issued service of process? Yes. Yeah. And then of all the Chinese where it was a United Nations marriage certificate, because I know over here in America we think this is something special for myself. <laughs> Not like any Chinese were ever refugees or married some refugee in the third foreign nation. But I think the Chinese are going to be in for a trillion dollars when I get done. Mm -hmm. Xi Jinping. Mm -hmm. Now, why don't you get me the actual child support uh, enforcement orders? Yeah. For every divorce of every American citizen that moved to China where they had their wages garnished. Yeah. And then all the Americans where the Chinese had to serve them an actual court order <laughs> or notice of a, a pending court hearing. Yes, yes, yes. Now, as much as we wouldn't think, okay that the Chinese would have any liability in this? I'm thinking they do. So, now, over here, China, mm -hmm. I've been informing the American government in 2,600,000 emails yes. Yes, yes. of forgery, uh, of fraud, yes, of international child abduction, yep. kidnapping. Mm -hmm. The issuance of a dissolution of marriage where I didn't have any due process where the marriage certificate was from the United Nations. Yes. And then just in the last couple of days, I mean, maybe it was yesterday, <coughs> I found out that the American government allowed for two dissolutions of marriage uh, to be issued mm -hmm, where they could change reference numbers anytime they wanted to serve me twice in a foreign nation. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'm working in a different state and... Uh, they say, well, actually, your child support payments went on that reference number. They didn't go on that reference number. Yes, yes. Well, corporations would get confused, especially if I was working for an American corporation in China. Yes. Because human resources would say, well, we garnished your wages, and I'd have to say, well, which of the two reference numbers did you apply the child support payments to? Now, if the Chinese mm -hmm, would... Uh, would really consider the liability of the knowledge of this.